for coming back and I'm going to start off a new segment um, so if you don't know that I like to talk a lot about fashion so I'm gonna start off with a new segment which is a little bit old but not really um, so I studied abroad so I studied abroad in Milan Italy a couple of months ago in early 2022 so it's almost gonna be a year now and so I thought it would be really cool if I told you guys a little bit about my study abroad experience. So in case anybody out there is interested. So when I wanted to study abroad, I couldn't find out many videos except for a few vlogs. But about Milan, Italy, not very specifically. So I was like, you know what, let me do my own videos. I did a couple of vlogs. Um, you can go back and watch them on my channel or like link them somewhere here. They might show up in here. Um, and you can kind of see what my life was like studying abroad. Um, they're mostly like vlogs, they're not very like that informational, but I think they're still pretty cool to look back at. I really love looking at them after like six months, um, so it's just really fun to like remember like moments that I spent in Europe. But either way, so these videos are gonna entail a little bit more of like giving you some background info and like what I did, what I studied, how I studied there, and yeah. So it's going to be a long series right now. I have about 15 videos planned. So I'll be posting more often during the week. Um, so yeah, and hopefully these videos won't be too long. I don't intend them to be too long. But either way, some info on myself. If you don't know me, uh, my name is Leslie. I am 20 years old. 20. I'm 22 years old. Um... I am a political science and public policy major in California where I studied and I studied abroad for one semester in Milan, Italy for the IES program. Uh, my program in Italy was fashion and merchandise marketing. A little bit about my program is that it was all about fashion design and marketing like for luxurious brands um, including Italian ones so that was really cool. Um, so I'll give you guys um, an idea of what uh, the classes I took were. Um, so I took Italian. I took um, Italian brand marketing and just luxurious brand marketing. So there are two um, because one of them just focused on Italian brands. And the last one was design. Um, so I speak Spanish, but I don't speak Italian. But because they're like very similar to each other, it wasn't very hard for me. I tried studying like in Duolingo or like other apps like that, but I was too lazy to do it before that and I was just too anxious, so I didn't, but luckily for me, it wasn't very that hard for me to understand. So I ended up taking an Italian semester, which ended up being two, because once we got there, we actually got there earlier than everybody else. I think in Italy, the semester starts in February. Because my first day of school, school was February 7th, if I remember correctly. But I got to Italy in like early January. It actually took me a whole day to get to Italy from LAX all the way to Milano, Malpensa, which is the airport that I landed in. Um, so yeah, I ended up leaving like a whole day before everybody else. Because most of the people in my program were actually from like the East Coast, like New York, Boston. Minneapolis, um, Penn State, so yeah, they were all familiar with all of that. Also, it was really cold for me being from California. I don't know what cold is like, so that was completely new for me. Um, either way, um, so yeah, we ended up getting there two weeks um, in advance, or three, actually three weeks in advance. So two of those weeks were to do kind of like an intensive Italian speaking in an intensive Italian course, which was basically one whole semester cramped up into two weeks. My classes were about two to four hours a day, Monday to Friday, and sucks for me because I actually had an 8 a.m. And like in Europe, like most universities don't have like dorms like we do here in the U.S. So that meant I had to travel from 
my apartment complex all the way to the school and it was actually kind of like a 30 minute drive or like I had to take like trains and metros and stuff like that so yeah it was really hard um, especially like not knowing how to get there I had to wake up really early probably like two to three hours early just so that I could get ready get breakfast I had to cook for myself and like wait for everybody else was in my class or like my friends so that we could all go together the first two intensive weeks were mostly like to learn the basics like food how to order how to ask for the bathroom how to like interact with your cash register at the store at, with the metro and stuff like that just to help us like get around Italy and then the rest of it was to actually learn Italian like how to have like long conversations with Italian so that was really cool um for me after a whole I guess two semesters of Italian I would say that I'm pretty good at it I can understand if someone's speaking to me most of the time I can read it very well um I can't speak it as good as I wish I could um, just because I get very confused with Spanish. So in Italian, it's kind of like any other um, language where what you say is on backwards. So instead of, instead of saying like, I am from LA, I would say LA I am from, which is kind of, in my mind, it's kind of hard. Like for me, it's weird to say it like that. So I, I, I can still understand and read it and kind of speak it. Like I can do basic stuff. Um, I was able to get myself around alone with friends. I usually would help them like order their stuff. So yeah, I would say that I'm pretty good at it, but not as good as I wish. And I want to keep learning Italian in the future just because I think it's really fun. But either way, my second class was design. And that one, I thought was going to be more like fashion design, but it ended up being more just like in general design. We did talk about clothing a little bit more about sustainability. Um, but it was mostly focused on like interior design um, and stuff like that. We, ended, we did a lot of field trips around Milan of like luxurious brands and museums out there. If you have any pictures, I'll put them on the side for you guys to see. Um... And yeah, we just ended up going to museums. It was a lot of group work and one of my projects was making um, a lamp. So I don't have a picture of my design or like my lamp, but I might have one of the design, like the sketch. Um, so I think it was pretty cool because I'm not a design major or anything like that. I don't have any background, but like being with other designers, I was like, well, you guys are so cool and so talented. And they would show me their sketches and like, projects that they've worked on so I thought it was really cool. The class I took was Italian fashion brand marketing so that one was really cool because we ended up going to Florence for like half a day and we visited a whole bunch of like museums, um, brands like Gucci and Florence. Um, I also ended up staying in Florence for a couple more days than like my class um, just because I wanted to explore or Florence but it was really cool like going with the whole class because the last but not least was just luxury brand marketing which also we visited a whole bunch of museums or stores across uh, Milan so because we are located in pretty much the capital of fashion um, it was very easy to find like different stores to go to and also if you are familiar with this structure I forgot what it's called let me look it up is called Galleria Vittorio Emanuel Due so yeah and I'm sure that you've seen it online or on social media there's a lot of like influencers that love to go there it's a very popular destination um, during fashion week so guys to go to fashion week I didn't go to every single one I know there's London Copenhagen um Paris I just went to Milan because I was there but it was so much fun I'll do a whole video explaining everything that I did but so I had so much fun with my classes uh, my professors were usually from like other um Italian schools and they would come and teach for my class so that was really cool jumped in a little too fast on my classes so let me rewind back a little bit and explain how I ended up doing marketing so I know I'm a poli sci major, which is mostly like law, politics, voting, elections, rights, and all that stuff, humanities. But I've, so my background, I guess, with social media or marketing is early when TikTok started, I ended up doing a couple of TikTok videos on 
like fashion just in general and one, some of my videos ended up hitting like half a million views mm -hmm. and I was like early early into TikTok and then I just continued doing TikTok I opened another account and I did kind of like the same thing but it was most focused on like the Parisian aesthetic and then I knit, after launching my first TikTok account and it went like half a million views I moved on into Instagram and that's when I started doing my own page. I pretty much would do like TikTok reel and I would take pictures of like outfits and some of my videos or some of my posts actually did blow up and I started doing collabs with different brands. Um, so I did, I don't remember every band that I collab with but I did work with a couple of Australian, um, Korean and American brands so that was really cool. And then I was like, hmm, I'm really good at this, so maybe I can try something. And that's kind of how I ended up selecting my my program. I didn't know where Milan was or exactly what Milan was. So I kind of just jumped into it and it was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, I'll explain Milan, like the city as a whole, on another video. Because I think a lot of people don't really think about Milan when they think about Italy. You mostly think about like Florence and Rome, but it's still pretty cool. It's half like an old city, but also modern. It's like the most modern out of all the other Italian cities, I think, because we're located in the north. So we're closer to like France and Switzerland. And then the southern coast has more of like an actual Italian culture. Um, That's pretty much it for this video. I'm just going to wrap it up here because if I could, I would keep talking. But I want to make sure that my videos are kind of like in sections, like towards a specific topic and not just like random talking. Because I can totally do that, you know? So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a, thum a thumbs up if you like this video and if I should continue doing this series. I think I have some really great video ideas, so yeah. In the meantime, if you want to check out some of the content that I filmed, check out my socials, which I'll drop down below. Um, and yeah, or just go watch my other YouTube videos from the past, which were pretty much my first YouTube videos here. But yeah, that's everything for today. And I'll see you guys